Many people are attracted to Moab because of the tremendous diversity of activities we have. We have the ability to do so much here on our beautiful public lands, and that is what makes Moab truly special. It's a landscape that really inspires people to explore it. And one day we can be paddling on the Colorado River, hiking in Red Rock Country, and fishing at an alpine lake just within hours of each other. And when you're on trail, you get to see millions of years of natural history, or you get to see pretty little flowers that just pop up overnight. So whether you're climbing or mountain biking or hiking, there's something for everyone. I've always just loved any time on two wheels. You have really fantastic trails that are very unique. So the whole enchilada is a system of trails that starts in our mountains and descends all the way down, famous for having absolutely amazing views. Climbing has grown exponentially, and in Moab we have seen an explosion of recreation of all types. Climbing feels like achieving something you didn't think you were supposed to be able to do. And the sense of achievement is one of the best feelings that you can feel. So as a trail ambassador on the trail, we're out engaging with visitors in a fun and shame-free way, and trying to get people to really empathize and understand this place on a greater level. The Trail Ambassador Program is focused on three main tenets, how to protect yourself, how to protect the environment, and how to respect others while using our trails. So this canyon is actually all a riparian area that follows the creek and it runs down from the LaSalle Mountains. So we hike the trails that we're stationed at or we can sit at the trailhead and we have a whole setup with a tent, a bunch of visual aids. Some electrolytes, you guys want those? Oh yeah. That'd those be good for when you start sweating. So when people are out on the trail too, we just want to make sure they're prepared. It's a very intense environment here, so some people aren't used to the heat, so we just want to make sure that people are ready with water and all the equipment that they need out on the trail. The Moab Desert is fragile, and at first glance, it doesn't look like that at all. We see so much rock around us that the place can somewhat look barren, but in fact, on so many levels, there is life happening, and it's important that we maintain respect for this place because some of our impacts can be permanent. It's pretty well known that you should stay on trail in most places, but we like to add some background context as to why that's so important for Moab specifically. One footstep may destroy a whole area of biological soil crust, which is what is keeping this desert so green and alive. Which one do you think looks like it's healthier? This one, yeah, right? Look... I mean, we just want to emphasize that it's living soil, and so we tell people to stay on the trail just to avoid busting the crust. I would encourage climbers to be aware of their impact during every point in their trip, uh, from their campsite to the approach trail to the base of the climb. If you're planning a trip to Moab and you want to know how to best minimize your impact in the area, there are many resources both locally and online, Leave No Trace and Trail Ambassadors here in Moab. That is really just the main goal of what we're doing here is just to be able to have this beautiful place for people uh, in the future too.